there have been changes that are positive in a couple of areas that are extremely relevant for gender equality. For example, improvements in maternal mortality rates, improvements in girls' access to education, improvement in women's representation and women's leadership. Overall, the picture is still pretty bleak. And I would say it's bleak because we still face the scourge of violence against women. That has not changed significantly. What's missing first and foremost is political will to really make a big difference. This starts with having governments uh, and private sector leaders recognize that this is a real issue and that it's something that you have to pay attention to. It's not going to happen organically by itself. It requires focus. If we're serious about addressing violence, for example, against women, then you know governments have to consider this the same way that they consider the crisis of the pandemic. It is the, what we, what the Secretary General called a shadow pandemic because it is widespread and not addressed sufficiently. SDG five which is gender equality, is the docking SDG for other SDGs. If you pay attention to gender equality, you will actually accelerate achievement of the other SDGs. So there is no way to achieve zero poverty in the world unless you think about the fact that most people in the informal sector, which is where the great uh, um, percentage of poverty is, are actually women. Closing the digital gender gap means getting more girls back into school. It means making your economy more productive and growing it because you are leveraging the skills and capacities of your entire population, not just half of it. And we also know that having access to mobile technology and digital um, uh, infrastructure generally can bring about a lot of other benefits financial inclusion, information on markets, access to weather-related information for farmers. If we want to aim for a world where gender equality is front and center of a development agenda, we have to make sure we're electing the right kinds of leaders and that we are vigilant about protecting democratic spaces. Before the pandemic, the estimates were that it would take about 99 years at the current rate of progress to achieve gender equality. Post-pandemic, because so many rights have been rolled back and so much progress that had been made was undone by the pandemic, particularly when it comes to women's participation in the labor force, uh, women's ability to hold jobs, all of that was affected by the pandemic. So it's actually gonna take 136 years at the current rate.